in presence God to, to, to move in God's presence and understand who's in control. How many believe in the hand of the Lord? How many believe, really, God's in you this morning. You know, we're going to talk about the hand this morning, but we've also already talked about the hand. But we're going to talk about what's in you this morning. When you lay hands on people, you say, well, it's like if I lay hands on says here. It is my hand, but there's a hand that's in that hand. That hand that's in that hand changes my hand. You better understand when you lay hands on people who's talking to you. Listen, also, there's a voice in the voice. So when you speak thus saith the Lord, there's a voice that's speaking inside the voice. And you know, I was coming, I was coming to church this morning, and the Lord says, there's a lot of people this morning going to speak my name. He said, but they ain't got any goods to back it up. I said, well, why is that? He said, because they, they don't have the covering. They're not, they're not dressed in me. Now, that would be a pitiful, well, I say a pitiful sight. Well, it would be a pitiful sight. If we all showed up naked this morning, wouldn't it be a pitiful shot sight in this morning? I mean, think about it. Why don't we dress? But then why don't we dress in the kingdom of God? Why don't we dress in the presence of God? So when you dress with God, see, listen, you can say a lot of things, but if it ain't no, ain't no God to back it up, it ain't going to move nothing. You understand? See, it's, it sounds good. It sounds good to the ears. The only thing is it's not going to move the spirit. And the supernatural is not going to work in your life this morning. Anybody believe in the supernatural? I've seen the supernatural work so many times, it's unreal. Listen, I, listen, I'm at a place now, and you should be at a place where I don't expect nothing but the supernatural. I expect the supernatural good things. So, God is already moving in, in, in this church. Listen, and God, listen, I, I spoke I spoke a prophetic word. It's getting been released all over the country right now. I mean, we're working on that right now. Watch what happens in just a few days when God gets to And some people say, well, you're just a little guy on a little hill. I said, yeah, I know. I said, but you missed it. You don't understand who's back in me. You better understand who's, who's, who's got the airways and you better understand who's back in what I'm saying. In Jesus' name. Come on, let's lift our hands and praise God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this day. Praise to you, come God. We thank you for the music. We thank you for the blessings. We thank you that we're here this morning in the congregation, God, of, of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you this morning that we're sons and daughters of the almost, of the most high God. And we thank you, Lord, that we're, he's, the, the, the world is groaning for the sons and daughters of God to be manifest, and they're fixing to be manifested, Lord. And we thank you for in the kingdom of God. And everybody said amen. God, we're going to come this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, let's put our hands together. Let's take a 30 second break. Praise the God for what He's done for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the God.
together. Everybody's on the same page. Everybody knows where to go, where to go, where to go. But God works now. But see, God's in this place. How many know God's on the front of this morning? He said, God would be me. Everything about you is, this, is going to be changed because of what's in you this morning. How many got him in you this morning? Now he ain't somebody just that casually comes. He ain't just a point. He's the almighty God. He's the third part of God this morning. How many got the Holy Ghost this morning? Praise God this morning. <coughs> Praise the Lord this morning. Thank you guys for this morning. sure you're going in the right direction because you don't mess it up. But we'll be seated this morning. Praise God this morning. See, there's a presence in here this morning to really touch your life this morning. How many is like, how many is this here this morning your life has been changed? I mean, let, let's, let's just do this. Let's evaluate ourselves for 30 seconds. Where you were two weeks ago ain't where you are today. How many believe this? Has God been talking to you? Yes. What I, now, wonder why he's talking to you. You ain't he, cause he ain't got nothing to do that day. He just said, well, I'm going I'm I'm to pick her and I'm going to talk to her because I ain't got nobody else to talk to. It ain't that. He's got something for you to do. He's got something he wants to say to you. Now, there's been words spoken in this church. and it, Let me tell you something. There's been a, uh, there's, there's words been spoken here and it's happened. There's people that have been walking in miracles. We walk in miracles. Come on. See, I, I look for the strange stuff. I look for the, how I many like crazy? Now you ain't talking about the crazy, crazy, but you, you do all the crazy stuff. I'm talking about I like the crazy in God. When I see God do the miraculous and do things that I know I ain't even had nothing to do with. He just did it going, you know what? Cause, cause see, you gotta understand. Do you know he likes you? You know he likes you? You know he likes you? You know he loves you? Likes you? Loves you? You know he likes you? Johnny, you know he loves you? you, know he loves you? Oh, yeah. Yo, you know, how about, you know, how about you? you know, you know, I like you too. I'm going to let him. See, this morning, you know, you got to understand, there's a God that loves you this morning. How many this morning understand where you are ain't where you're going to be? Amen. And sometimes what happens is, say what happens? See, God will bring change, and you don't, you don't understand how to, to how to navigate through the change. God brings change. You might have to move from one position to another. And see, God's talking, and you say, okay, what did I do? See, you got to go before the Lord and say, okay, is this what I need to do? Because, see, God's trying to get, see, understand, God ain't trying to take something from you. He wants to get something to you. Anybody believe that? Yeah. Huh? See, when I, when I sow, I talk, people ask me, I say, why do you sow like you do? I say, oh, see, you got to understand, it leave my hand, but it don't never leave my future. Amen. You understand that? Listen to what I say there. You, if you just grab that, this one, that's what the kingdom does. Now, it never won't work in the church. Come on. You understand what I'm saying? That ain't no wrong with the church. I, I ain't saying no wrong. But see, when I sow, I sow out of the I sow into the supernatural. So it leaves my hand. But it don't never leave my life. See, do you know what you sow? Listen, what I sow 10 years ago, I'm getting it today. Get down. That's why I try to figure out, like, you know, we're about to eat. Some of these people know. We're about to eat. I'm looking for the guy that plays. Because I know if I bless somebody in the, uh, in the uh, cracker barrel, something coming around the corner to bless me. See, I don't dodge. I don't dodge it. Come on. I'm trying to find it. I say, God, who you want me to bless today? That's right. Amen. Amen. Because, see, I, I'm going to sow it to my future. It's the hand of the Lord. Amen. Anybody with me this morning? Amen. Amen. I, I tell you what, dude. Everybody, when you leave, they find one person that you don't. Now, you ain't got to don't know them. But well, it, it, it'll work. This will work. It'll work either way, but find somebody like if you go out and eat today, just look around and say, God, speak to me. Come on. And say, 
who, will you, who do you want? Just say, Lord, who do you want me to bless? Who do you want me to give a word? Who do you want me to buy a meal? Amen. Amen. Anybody ever done it? Yes, sir. Well, if you ain't done it, you need to do it. Guess what's going to happen? He's going to come back in. You're going to be sitting at the outback, and the next thing you know, somebody's going to say, oh, you know you're going to be able to pay for it. I said, wow. I, know, I wish I'd get that big steak. <laughs> I wish I'd have got that, instead of getting that 9 ounce, I wish I'd have got that 22 ounce. But then I can carry some home with me. You know God is a carry home God. So this morning, I'm not trying to put this on. Could you stand up this morning and just, just tell everybody how God's blessed you this morning? Come on. Just, just stand up and say, now, I can't, I can't, I, I know, did Daniel. Okay, he came back to me. See how things will leave you, but they will come back. Just tell everybody how God's blessed you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. First of all, I just want to give honor to God this morning for just being here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I've been here now for like coming up about uh, a month, and I can definitely tell the difference. Just getting up and having air in your lungs is just a blessing by itself. Come on. You know, because it could have been a, a, the other way. Um, I just thank God for. So much. I mean, you can't even name it. Just being here, my son. You know, my son is um, artistic, but the things that God had brought him from to where he is today was mm -hmm. magnificent. Mm -hmm. yes. um, he went for um, a, a place of not eating, to eating everything, to not just thinking, yeah. to saying where God is awesome. Oh, <laughs> sometimes when we don't see certain things, it's for a reason. Just wait on God. Be patient. And know that he's able to do all things. Exactly. And that's why I just stand and I just thank God. And I, I thank you all for just the atmosphere of love and just being there and praying for me because I know you are. Um, and I thank you and I thank Pastor and I thank all the leaders. And God is just good about it. Steph. I don't even have oh, just one thing that he's being good about. Just everything. I have a small little business. God has just took that and you ran with it. Come on. God is awesome. Amen. Amen. I thank you all for you, and I thank you for um, God for you, Pastor. Okay. Amen. 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 That's all. That's Pastor's voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just check the spirit one more time. Yeah, it, 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 it's speedy now. This is the guy right here. Go ahead, HB. <laughs> well, I, I saw uh, the church the other week that I uh, had an unexpected certified letter come in the mail. I wasn't expecting it. I opened it up. I want to see what it was all about. But it had my name on it in a check for two thousand five hundred dollars and fifty six cents. Well, guess what? I got another one this week. Five hundred. So then let's have a talk. If they come like that, I need to talk to you. Anybody want to come on? Let's just y'all just come on over here. Y'all just bring right over here. Yeah, well, we, we, we might be able to go to the but we might work it out. We'll work it out, okay? Ain't that something? See, that, that, did I not just say the 22 ounce? Yeah. Did y'all hear me then? Did y'all heard what I said? I didn't say, huh? Yeah, no, I can't eat no 48. Unless you get on one again, I get on another, I'll get you in the middle. Yeah. Ain't that something this morning? Praise God this morning. How many are blessed this morning? Yeah. Uh, how many know there's a hand in the hand this morning? Well, uh, just put that up this morning for me. Are we on Facebook this morning? Okay, people watching this morning, you know, we get a lot of response from Facebook. Uh, people watching. But we want to welcome Facebook this morning. We want to welcome YouTube. And there's people that can't come. There's people this morning that, that won't come. we got to figure out how to get them here. So I'm working on that. I don't know how, how it's going. God's going to give us an idea to be able to bring some people. And if you've got any ideas, you're welcome to drop them in the pot. But we're looking at ideas and ways to, to bring people. So this morning, there's a hand inside the hand. We want to turn our Bibles this morning. Now, how many understand this morning, what's in you is what's going to carry you? Do, do you hear what I'm saying? If you ain't got nothing in you, you ain't going far. Okay, it's like going out today and me driving that RV out there, and I look down there, and I want to go 300 miles, and this needle says, you on empty. 
You, how far do you think I'm going to get? Because I can guarantee you this here, I can't push it. Now, if I'm going to push it, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to drive it, I'm going to let my wife push it, see can we get to the gas station. Because I'm being generous. I see, I love her enough to let her push. You know what I mean? Listen, you laugh. But see, I love her enough that I need to steer it, honey. And, and I'm going to tell her, I said, honey, can you get a little fast? I know it's working you now. But you need to push a little harder because we get ready to go across the track. And you got to get us across the track. And uh, you, is you going to better make it, baby? And I'm going to look out the window at you and holler at you. Come on. Y'all believe that? You believe that that, that, that lady going to let me do that? Mm -mm. Ain't going to happen. You better tell you what's going to happen. She said, you better get out and find us some gas. I'm going to sit here and uh, wait till you come back. And I don't blame her. Come on, man. But see, listen, I really want you to understand something. If there ain't nothing in you working, ain't nothing on the outside room. That's it. And listen, that don't happen overnight. Where I, where, listen, where I'm at today, and I'm, just, I'm not right, but where I'm at today, it just didn't happen overnight. Amen. I can process, guess what? Do you think we will ever not be processed? I'm being, anybody being processed? Amen. Oh, damn, if you're being processed. Amen. I mean, okay, let me ask you this. Is, is there a good process? Well, there's got to be a bad process. When I say bad, there's got to be some bad come out so you can put some good in. That's right. Because if nothing don't come out, then you can't put nothing in. See, and, and what I'm trying to tell you, if, if there ain't nothing in inside of you, when you speak, ain't nothing going to change. I done lived this. Gonna live some more. Because when things don't go right, we get an attitude. Come on now. Amen. But why do we get an attitude? Because it's like this. Come on now. But that's the flesh inside. You want your way. That's why I keep telling her. <laughs> It looked like a pig I keep trying to tear I said, it ain't me. It can't be me because I know I'm perfect. <laughs> and you laugh, but I keep telling her that she can't, she can't, she said, I just can't say it. I said, well, because God ain't revealed it to you yet. I bet you were, hey, 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 burn perfect. He ain't. Look how sweet he looks at it up there. He ain't perfect. Yeah. Okay. Well, I thought he was. He told me he was. <laughs> I'm trying to believe him. Mm. <laughs> well, brother, I got news for you. Come on. You need to be on the hallway. I'll be running out there hanging on your neck. <laughs> we in trouble. But see, I'm going to tell you something this morning. Just because you read the book don't mean you got it. See, that's what's wrong with the world now. Just because I look, I can look, I can walk down Main Street, they say, man, look at it, he got a Bible. Uh -huh. I can walk down the street, look. And you say, well, he ain't saying much more. I can walk down there, look. We can walk and walk, man, look at it, he look holy. Don't mean I got anything. Just because I carry the book, just because I look like I talk the book, I, look, I, might, I might even say a few things, boy, say, my God, he knows some scripture. But the thing is, I ain't got no power. There's no power in me, there's no power in my voice, there's no power to change anything. Listen, when I, when I go to meetings and I speak into people's lives and miracles start happening, that's not me doing that. I'm hearing what he's saying. Somebody has to say, how do you hear God like that? Because I listen. Some people study to preach, I listen to preach. Do you hear what I just said? Some people study to preach, nothing wrong with that. But I'm going to listen because if I listen, I'm going to get it hot. This ain't day old bread. So you gotta have listen. What listen? Listen. This is what I, I named it. I don't know if this is a good break. What what you want to think is more? The hand inside the hand. When I lay hands on her and she got cancer, my hand is upon her, but it's the hand of the Lord. It's it's the hand of the Lord. That's a hand. Come here, man. Put your hand on my hand. There's a hand inside the hand. Don't we look good? Oh my gosh. I, 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 I got this 
sidetrack. <laughs> Thou calleth me. But okay, get back to two messages. Okay. There's a hand, it's somebody said he's crazy. But there's a hand inside the hand. You gotta understand. The hand of the Lord is upon you. Do you understand? That's why you can call it. Yeah, see, I'll call you in a minute. But, but see, you got to understand something. There's a hand that's working and there's a power that's working inside of you this morning that can change your situations. If, 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 if all hell is breaking loose at house or all hell is breaking loose on your job, you have the power to change it. See, you don't have to. See, this is what we do because I've done it. You want to run from the job, but you don't want to change the job. Amen. You have the power to turn someone will speak to it like Jesus would. Amen. The Bible says, say unto this mountain. Say, say it. He didn't say cry. He never said cry unto the mountain. He didn't never say, he didn't never say uh, walk up to the mountain. He said turn around and say unto the mountain. With the power of the Holy Ghost. Do you understand? Listen, as people watch this morning, you have the power to speak like Him. Because there's a hand and there's a power upon you this morning. Do you understand? How many of kingdom? Okay. In the kingdom, everything takes on an identity that, that changes everything. We were talking about my brother last night in a meal, and he's the only guy, and I, I can honestly say this, and I'm not bragging on him, but I am bragging on him. He's the only man that I, I read about Paul, but he's the only man I know that when he walked by, he shouted, he'll be there. I ain't got there. And then, then I said, well, he's the only man, when he dug it down in the pool at the, the, the Gracious Center, they come up speaking in the Holy Ghost. They went down with AIDS, but they came up here. When, when, he, when he walked by, the demon said, Oh my God, they jump out, and you see him jump out. That ain't, that ain't something I read in the book. I see it with my own eyes. And then he's the only man I've seen walk up to a person and look down in the eyes and say, I see that demon come out of there and call him by that name. Guess what they did? They hopped out. They didn't hold on, they come out. I said, and then I was asked this way, well, what made him different from you? Because he spent time in it. You got to understand, Shikamasa, he had time in it. He invested in him. He had the quality, he qualified for the call. You're trying to preach, you're trying to do this, you're trying to, but you ain't been qualified because there's nothing covering you to do nothing. So, See, when I call for the miracle, listen, listen. Wow, I feel the Holy Ghost now. When I call for the miracle, it comes. When I call for the blessing, the blessing is on his way. Because God turns to Jesus and Jesus turns to the Holy Ghost. Listen, did you hear that in ministry and spirits? Go make it happen. When I call for the rent to be paid, he brings the rent money. When I call for the payment here at church, he sends it by a raven. Because God feeds by ravens, he ain't stopped. You got to understand, sir, there's a God, he spoke to me this morning and said, did I not carry you all the way where you are? I said, he said, well, then why are you worried about the payment? I said, forgive me. He said, I got your payment. I said, well, Lord, you know how it is. You know you were. He said, yeah, I know what you're saying. He said, but I covered you. He said, all you got to do is stand up and declare it. Yeah. Yeah. He said, make your petition known before me. Remind me. So it don't hurt God to remind him. Some of y'all stand up in your house and say, all hell, listen to me. I'll, 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 
I get ready to try to war on you. Because there's a power in me that overcomes you. Does this make, does it make sense here? Yes. I'm speaking from authority that he's put in me because I'm a kingdom man. Yes. Hell don't shake me, I shake hell. Because there's a hand inside of me that makes me understand when I lay my hands on something, it's going to shake. Inside of hand. Turn your turn your Jer yes, foot, Jeremiah 32, 17. Does anybody, does anybody, is there, are you comprehending what I'm saying? Amen. Oh Lord God, behold, listen, thou has made the heavens and the earth by thy great power. The power that made that is the power that resurrected me. The power that made that is the same power that resurrected you. Do you understand what lives inside of you? You're not a sissy. And stretch out his arm. God's telling the people today, I'm stretching my arm over you. I'm stretching my hand over you today. Did you hear? They are sometimes. There is nothing too hard for him. Anybody agree with me? I mean, let me hear say, I agree with you, man of God. There's nothing. Now, Jesse, put up the message Bible. Now, Walt, can you read that? She's going to put it up. You read it. Look at this. Now, now, look how it changed. Dear God. Dear God. Listen. Dear God. You know what next? Dear God, my master. My master. Who's your master this morning? Are you serving God for what you can get? Or are you serving God because you love him? Okay, go ahead. Dear God, my master, you create earth and sky by your great power. By merely stretching out your arm, there is nothing you can't do. There's nothing you can't do. Do you know in you there ain't nothing you can't do? There ain't nothing you can't do. There ain't nothing you can't do. This man here ain't nothing you can't do. Because God said it's in you, sis. You believe that? You receive it? You know it's yours. You know it's your gift. Read, will you read that again? Dear God, my master, you created earth and the sky by your great power. By merely stretching out your arm, there is nothing you can't do. Listen to this. We all need to understand this, this morning that there is a power that is in control of our lives. He also has the last say over what will happen. I mean, believe that. Now, the Lord gave me a word yesterday. Was it yesterday? Clean our baby. This is what he says, get ready to happen. Now, I done told some people that this morning. I told some people online. We told some people all over the country this morning. We've been prophesying for about an hour and a half this morning. Before we were out here. We done had church. In the White House right now, you got to understand, God... It's bringing, uh, it's going to sound like the name of an earthquake, but it's God coming with the Lord. Amen. You better hear what thus saith the Lord. God's coming with the roar. 
They don't think it's an earthquake, but it's God coming with the roar. Because he says, I'm changing that. And God says, the glory of the Lord is to get ready to hit the earth like never before. He says, I'm dropping a bomb. A Holy Ghost bomb right in the middle of everything you see. And when I prophesied that this morning, people just broke down with the crying, just like Atlanta, Rock Mountain. Listen, God says there will be, He says this here. There will be, there will be no time anybody brings anything else to the table. And it ain't his agenda. He said he's walking them off the page. My, 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 my. Ah. Now listen to what I'm telling you now. I'm, not, I'm telling you prophetically what he's getting ready to do. He says any agenda that's in this church or any church that ain't here, he said, it's over. And this is what he said. He said, there'll be people in the pulpit. He said, they're not covered by me. That's why they have no power. God said, I, and then, I know this don't sound good, but I have to prophesy this morning. I, the Lord said to me, he said, I have no problem putting them in a box. Everything that you see, God says, this is what's happened. There's been a demonic activity released that's been laying around for years. Yeah. People have checked, some people have checked it, and it's awoken. And guess what happened? It's been released on America. But God says, good. So God says, now I'm going to deal with that thing like it ain't never been dealt with before. Some of you better listen to what I'm telling you this morning. You need to thank your God that he cares enough about you to deal with it. Okay, now, this is not going to sound good because some people on Facebook don't get caught, but I'm going to say it anyway. Lord says, we talk about black lives matter. In the kingdom, every life matters. Yeah. There ain't no just no black lives matter. Now, ain't nobody going to like me because of that. Because that ain't, that's not what God is saying. Every life he died on the cross for. Oh. Every life. Oh. Black, white, yellow, green, and yellow, in your whatever. He died for every man. Yeah. But God says, and what I'm releasing now in the kingdom of God is going to distract all of that. It shut all those bounds down that's running things and making money. Somebody got to take the blunt. Yeah. Don't run. Yeah. That's right. Speak it. Uh, Speak what it says. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. See? Because there's a power that God says now. I'm calling for the sons and daughters of God, and they're coming. And there'll be people that agree and don't agree. It don't make no difference. Because it ain't going to change what he's doing. It ain't, listen, it don't make what I say. It don't make no difference what you say. He's on the scene. Because the Lord said to me, he just what he said. They have mocked Jesus on TV. They have made movies about him being gay. They have made movies about this. They have said this. They, they mocked him. They mocked him. They mocked him. And God says, now, I'm going to show you the other side that I never really want to show nobody that I got. You have awoken a God now that's going to show somebody something. I know I sound crazy. But watch what happens. We talk about black and white people. Let me tell you something. What about the little boy that ain't seen the little back fin? Did you see it on Facebook? And then his mama daddy and his mama daddy, their mama daddy, had a little day for them to have uh, playtime. Did you see it? And when two little guys saw each other, they hugged each other like, my God. You, did you see it? Yes. And they come running each other, hugging each other. They ain't seen each other in weeks, but they went out to school. They like to broke their neck trying to kiss each other. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? And them two little fellas run down, and they just hugging each other like, my God, buddy, what's going on? <laughs> see what I'm saying? That's the God. That we serve. We, there's no separation in the kingdom, but there is separation in the church. Because in the church, he's going to make money off of the black people and he's going to make money off the white people. Because he don't want you together. Because he knows when you come together, you're going to annihilate his voice.
You say, well, that's because there's a hand inside the hand of the man, the black man, the white man, the red man, that understands when he lays his hands on something. When I lay my hands on, in, on this ministry, it's going to prosper. It can't die because he's the one initiated it. And God's sending people now that's got the goods. And you're going to see the hopeless, even this ministry is fixing to take a turn. Because God said, what's getting ready to happen now? I'm going to show you how to make it happen. But he did say this. Any agenda that comes to the table, any agenda, he says, I'm going to take you off the page. Ah, good. And I know you say, well, what kind of message is this more? This is a message about God is moving in people's lives that really want him. Oh, and the Lord said this this morning, all the shafts. He said, I'm going to sweep the shaft out the door. He said, all the preachers that ain't preachers, I'm going to sweep them out the door too. So what's get ready to happen? Yeah. Now, what God says, I don't care what nobody says. God says, I'm calling America back to repentance. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand that? Some of us are going to have to come to the altar or make an altar and get down on your hands and knees and don't be scared to get down and say, who you are? I just want to tell you, I have screwed up. And if that makes me look like a whip, I'm going to whip out there. Because I'm getting myself right before the Lord. Ain't nothing going to cause me. And, and I told a person this morning, and I don't think when they're here this morning, I told a person this morning, you don't want to stand before the Lord and miss the opportunity to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Come on. Do you understand that this morning? See, God's moving in a facet to change your life this morning. Listen, everything that you need, He's got it. Everybody say, He got it. Listen, how many want some of it? I say, do you want some of it? She says, so how much you want all of it? Okay, she said, give me all of it. That's my kind of sense right there. Give me all of it. You, you, would you, you get enough in the overflow? Can I have it? She said, you're going to give me the overflow. That's all I need. Now. You gotta understand who you are. God. So we can sit around and say this and blame this with and blame this why you're not where you are. But let me tell you something what's gonna happen. God's gonna check you in your spirit. Because he's checking me. Because guess what? I blame this and I blame that. I accuse this, I accuse that. I said, well, that ain't why it ain't working. That ain't right. And God said, you know what the problem is? It ain't that, this and that. It's you. So that's fine. Guess what? If I get checked, you're going to get checked. Because it comes from the head down. But if it takes that kind of checking to save this guy, check me out. Because God is moving in the fact. And guess what? You don't have to believe nothing that I say, but you're going to see it. Because he's on his seat. No politics. I'm promoting one guy. That's Jesus Christ. I'm promoting one man, the kingdom. I ain't promoting the Democrat, but I ain't promoting the public, because all of them are so you dry. Can I tell you that this morning? That, I don't like to say that. Nobody, when they make it, they're all so you dry. But there's one guy, one person that'll give you everything and give you the, uh, the living water. That's Christ, the anointing one. You say, well, why God? What kind of message is this morning? Father might say, well, that's pitiful. Pitiful is you. Because I know what it said to me. Because there's a message this morning inside the message. There's a kingdom inside the kingdom. God, there's a kingdom. If we only came together and could get everybody, if we could just get everybody on the same page, 
So one day, you will not believe tomorrow when you get up how a miracle would be. Greatest country in the world, we try to kill it from the inside. Now, if you got up this morning and had to walk five miles to get a cup of water, I bet you wouldn't be arguing about all this other stuff. Amen. If you were sitting this morning with three, four kids and your belly stuck out here like this because you ate 84 or five days or 10 months or whatever, I bet you five dollars you, you'd be figuring out how to get a meal. That's where I'm at with it. When you and I stretch forth our hands, they will start to change because there is a hand inside our hand and it is the hand of God. You and I have to, listen, you and I have the same power to speak over the surroundings, the change, to change everything in it. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not talking church. We're talking business. Somebody needs to understand. You get ready to go. You get ready to do business. Anybody want to do God's business? Yeah. Come on, man. If you really, really want to do God's business, it's going to cost you something. Yeah. If you think you're going to do God's business, and ain't nobody going to get mad with you. You're crazy. If you think somebody you're going to do God's business, ain't nobody going to talk about you. You're crazy. If you think you're going to do God's business, and you ain't going to be asked if you're crazy. If you think you're going to do this and do that, you're crazy because God's going to call for you. But nobody don't want to hear that part because that means you got to get off your blessed assurance and do something now. Come on, come on. I'm just telling you what the kingdom's called. God is moving in the fast to change people's lives. This, 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 more, this, this son right here, he got to have God in his life to cover him to the day he draws his last breath. Amen. He needs a God. Thank God for a mama that, that looks out for him. Thank God for all the mamas that are here this morning. Huh? Praise the Lord. Can we just get one praise to the Lord? Okay. Now, isn't there something this morning? I came with the hand, but I don't know what I did. You might say, he ain't done nothing. Well, praise the Lord anyway. Come on. Amen. So, but see, let's turn our Bible to Job. I think it's Job 49. 40, no, 40 and 9. Job 40 and 9. In the King James. And we're going to get out of here in just a few minutes. You doing all right this morning, son? What's that? You cool? Yeah. This your son. Ain't this your son? My brother said this Yeah, you're yeah. here. I thought I'd see him at the house. Yeah. Ain't you one got a girlfriend? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see your girlfriend. Man, you got a beautiful girl. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was him. You see how I pick up on stuff, right? You see how I did it? He's right in on it. <laughs> Listen, has thou an arm like God? The question is, have you had, the question is, we're going to get out of here just a minute. Have you got a hand and an arm like God to change something? Yeah, everybody look at your hand and arm. Look at your right arm. Is this, or you can right hand or left hand? Whichever one you want to use is more. Look at your arm from right here all the Is this the hand that's going to change my stuff? Is this the hand that's going to, when I lay it on it, it's going to move? Is that the hand? It's going to move. This, this is why, when I said that, this is what I heard over your head. Shake, rattle, and roll. Because this fixes the roll, baby. Can thou listen? Or can thou thunder with a voice like him? Amen. Is your voice listen? He's asking, listen, he's asking you about your hand. Now he's going to ask you about your voice. What does the message Bible say to us? Elder, uh, what we're going to read? Do you have an arm like my arm? Hold, hold right there, man. Wait a minute. See, you see how the arm just changed. He's saying, is your arm connected to my arm? Okay, okay, hook up to her arm. There we go. See who you hooked up with. Amen. And she hooked up with the best. Oh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say, you want to say, John. 
John said, this, this, this is the army can make it happen. This, this, this is the army hug over here. Oh, yeah. Just go on, you put them on the ground, when you pull up that she in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. She ain't get out till you back up. Yeah, it's, it's, it's over. <laughs> Well, you know what, man, I'm going to tell you something. I think I call on you because, you know what, when I go her, she don't get away now. I know. Is that, is that something? Right. <laughs> Make me speak in tongues. See what I'm telling you? But that's the hand. All right. That's the arm. When you hook up, listen, read it again, Elmer. Do you have an arm like my arm? Do you have an arm like my arm? He's asking. That's the question to you this morning. Now, what's the rest of Can you shout in front of the way I can? Can you, has anybody got a shout this morning? Yeah. Come on, man. Is there a shout in this morning? I know that you, you, you went crazy. Dog, oh, get out there. Look at you. Look at you. Run that out. Act like a fool. And then, no, you get out of here. I, I didn't mean it that way. Yeah, I mean, I, I called some people. I said, you ain't gonna do it. I said, y'all what? You, you know, we had to take it off film, but we didn't want to let it come back. I said, Quay got that in the right arm and shake it. And, and she was doing the shiva. Yeah. <laughs> You know, did you see your mama do that? Man, you should have seen it, man. She walked down the aisle, look, she was doing it. She was doing all that and doing it. I said, that's what I'm going crazy. But she got a shout. Now read it again. Can you what? Can you shout your thunder the way I can? Can you listen? He's asking you this morning. Have you got a shout? Anybody got a shout this morning? That's the question. Have you, have you got all my kids this morning? Have you got a shout this morning? Somebody on the stand on your feet right now and say, I got a shout. When we get back down here to God, there's a shout in this place this morning. Yeah, I do you this morning. How many believe that this morning? Thank God for the piano player. He come right in on the right. From that to that, he's done. Because see, this morning I want to understand something. When you're connected to the right source, you got to understand things going to happen. That's why God sent you here. God sent you here because He's going to he gonna give you something. He gonna give you something. He gonna give you something. Gonna give you something. He gonna give you something. He's changing as we're talking. Now, this is what Holy Ghost told me to tell you. He said, you know, you used to sit back down. He said, but since you moved up, he said, I'm fixing to move you again. Yep. Yes, Lord. That's you. God says, I'm fixing to really bless you, girl. I'm fixing to give you something that's going to knock your... Well, you ain't got no socks on, but if you did, they're coming off. Yes! There he is. Yep, yep. Thank you. How do How do you so what God give me and there's something the power of God is working right here. God is working this morning. Hallelujah. You love God? You love God? You saved this morning? Have you ever given your heart to God? I'm just asking. You ain't listening. I'm just talking to you man to man. We, yeah. See that? You love God? Don't you need a change? What 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 do you think you need to change? Now he said you listen, listen. I can't I can't pronounce that. Jeff White, listen, he didn't see you by accident. He seen you this morning because he wants to touch you. And also touch that lady. You still right here? Okay. God, you know, God wants you to change. God says, I'm gonna give you an opportunity. Because see, you don't understand. This is what I'm gonna change, son. See, death wants you. Because some of the crowd you run around with, let me tell you, they're gonna get you, they're gonna put you, they're gonna put you, they're gonna put you away. That's why he sent you this morning, because God said, I want to show people that you can go back in and do what needs to be done. Look at you. Look at you. See what I'm telling you this morning? See, you're not here by accident, sir. It ain't got nothing to do with no color. No, we all got the same Jesus this morning. See, God wants to say, listen, this is what the Holy Ghost said about you. You got a great mom, you got a, listen, you got a great daddy. 
Everybody has problems. But God says, I want to solve your problems this morning. And there's others like And there's others. Now, the reason God sent you this morning because he's tugging on your heart. Do you feel that tug this morning? Like, do you feel that pulling? You know what? Do you feel that arm? Do you know how powerful you are? Look, you don't even realize. You know why your mama came here? Because you have ministry in you. She wants to believe. You know what? Somewhere in the ancestry back in your, in your general theology, that's preachers. And God said, use a man of God. Is there something this morning? You don't even understand this morning. God said, I got so many blessings for you that if you would just step in the kingdom, he said, I'm going to blow your mind with education and I'm going to give you the opportunity of a lifetime that most people won't never get, but you got the opportunity to get it because it's yours. Point at his sister and say it's his. And that's something wrong. Stand up and say it says you. Stand up and point and say it's yours. Listen, listen. It's yours, bro. It's yours. Everybody point at it. Everybody point at it. Jackie. Hey, it's here. Say that. 